Each section of your Twine project is called a passage. Here I have an untitled passage and five other passages. To create a new passage, to add a passage, you could simply click the green plus passage button and add a new untitled passage. But the easiest way is to simply create a link. Create a link just by putting in two square brackets and then the closing square brackets. When I close the passage, my new passage will be created automatically. A passage has three main fields, the title of the passage, tags, and the body. You can name passages anything you would like, but you cannot use the same passage name twice. Passage titles are case sensitive, so that if I have capital M and lowercase p, this link has to be a capital M and a lowercase p. I'll get a broken link if I reverse that. You can see that the link is broken now. Tags are only used for special types of code, so you can ignore the tags section. Everything that you type in the body will be shown to the player. Links between passages are shown as arrows connecting them. Links can go forward, they can also go backward, they can go in between pages. So for instance, from here I can link to guitar. Now there's a link from mallet percussion to guitar. Instead of titling this starting passage, untitled passage, I'm going to call it start. And then from mallet percussion, I can say, go back to start. Now I can get from start to mallet percussion, and you can also see there's an arrowhead going back to start. It is possible to change what text is shown to the player for a link. This can come in handy if you want to hide the title of passage from the player, and you can do that with an arrow like this. So the text that the person will be seeing, it's just going to say go back, and it actually takes them to start. It accomplishes the same thing as this link up here, but the person will only see the words go back. One reason that you might want to hide links like this is if you're creating a multiple choice quiz. Here's a simple quiz. Which of the following instruments is Lionel Hampton famous for playing? If you click xylophone, it takes you to wrong. If you click marimba, it takes you to wrong. If you click vibraphone, it takes you to correct. The player does not see wrong, wrong, correct, wrong. All they see is this. Which of the following instruments is Lionel Hampton famous for playing? Xylophone, marimba, vibraphone, or bells? To view your project, click on the play button in the bottom right. Twine will open your project in a new tab. To save your finished project, click the menu in the bottom left with the name of your project and then click Publish to File. The project will save as an HTML file or web page.